Hi, I recorded this video to support the article about the detailed data display in pulse doppler mode and specifically the interaction with the zero doppler filter. This is not a comprehensive video about the DDD, but worry not, such videos in my queue. If you feel a bit lost, don't worry, check the article link below for a more in-depth discussion about the DDD in this radar mode. The point of the video is very simple, to show how the Rio can use the DDD to understand where the zero doppler filter is preventing contacts from being displayed and how the DDD integrates and completes other devices, such as the TID in aircraft stabilized mode, by providing additional information otherwise not immediately available. The scenario used, which you can see running right now from the perspective of the F-10 map, sees a number of aircraft flying parallel, followed by our F-14. The scenario is divided in three parts. The initial setup sees our F-14 flying faster than the other aircraft. In phase one, the dummies accelerate until eventually in phase two, they slow down again. Through these changes in terms of speed, we will be able to visualize the area affected by the zero doppel filter. Additionally, this test shows the interesting relation between the antenna terrain angle, the drift and the range. Pay attention to how the angle changes as a function of the ladder. The speed of our F-14 is 450 knots and constant through the scenario, therefore the width of the air affected by the zero doppel filter is known as well. The targets are now accelerating, they are about to disappear due to the work of the zero doppel filter. Eventually the dummies become faster than 100 knots plus the speed of the F-14 and they appear again on the scope. Note how the antenna terrain angle changes as the range is increasing and now the relative speed is affected by the bearing. Now the second phase begins and the dummies are slowing down to 250 knots, crossing the filtered area once more in the process. The targets are now slower than 350 knots and therefore not filtered anymore. The zero doppel filter is in fact plus minus 100 knots wide and long story short it is an hardware limitation since the radar cannot detect contacts without a doppler shift. If you want more details you can find them in the manual. As the range decreases, the angles are tangibly changing to the point that the contacts at the end of the scope are falling again into the zero doppel filter. Consider three of these targets all flying at 260 knots. The first one, antenna triangle is zero, closure rate is 170 knots, relative is minus 260 knots. The second one is slightly off to the right, so antenna at an angle equal 30 right, closure is 165 and relative is minus 285 knots. The third one, the antenna at an angle is 60 right, so the closure rate is 95 knots, but the relative is minus 355 knots. So this means that the third one is actually filtered by the zero doppel filter since 450 knots minus 355 knots is less than 100 knots. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and now have a better understanding of how the DDD helps the Rio to visualize the zero doppel filter. Again, if you feel lost, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.